My name is George Boston Rines. This is the continuation of my rebuttal to Walmart Stores Incorporated, store number 2615 in Valdosta, Georgia. During the last sessions, I talked about my termination, and I talked about I was going to go into my first written coaching, but after looking and reviewing the video, I want you all to be thoroughly clear on what I'm trying to outline and show concerning Walmart Stores Incorporated not training me, a department manager of sporting goods. And looking back at the videos, I told you all that I had not been trained or entered into the four-week required training for all department managers. It's a four-week course. So I figured I would lay this out so you could see for yourself to make sure I was not joking or lying to you. I have outlined here for your convenience this is the first week of this required training at Walmart constructed for all department managers. That's page one, two, three. All of this is just the first week of training. These are the papers involved in the first week of training. Three, six, seven, eight pages. And it requires that the department manager and the trainer or assistant manager sign off in this space right here, or initial, in every area of training on all sheets. It also states on the first page that this and train the assistant, involve the assistant manager, the personnel associate and of course me and the trainer now that's week one those are the papers involved in week one which I was never given as department manager but on the 20th of March 2008 I was terminated for inability to perform job although I repeatedly asked to receive this training We're going to move over to week two of training. These are the papers that was involved in the second week of training that I should have received if I would have been treated like all other department managers or is it that nobody in Walmart receives any training? And if anybody received training and if I didn't, then that's a problem. week of training we move over to the week the papers for the third week of training these are the papers these are the papers here again all of this supposed to be initialed off on dated to show that I was trained as everybody that worked at Walmart stores incorporated but George Boston Ryan never received this training where store manager Hal Hall Hallwell is the store manager. That's one, two, three weeks of training that had to be verified. Now, as I said before, I asked them to just show me proof of anything that I initialed off on or signed on. I've sent Walmart 29 letters to President Lee and President Mike um, Duke and I have yet to receive a response 
or one of my questions to be answered. I'm going to the fourth week. This is the fourth week paperwork that I supposed to receive according to Walmart. I did not create these, y'all. I did not create this paperwork. Walmart did it. But I was not given any of it. The old saying is the proof is in the pudding. Well, Walmart got to eat this cake. And I want everybody to know that this is the truth that you're looking at. No names have been changed to protect Walmart. And here again, because this is the fourth week of training, it's more intense. It's talking about seasonal aisle, back room, pick list. Now, if I never signed off on this, how in the heck would I ever know how to do a pick list? If nothing in my records ever showed that they ever gave me anything about a pick list, nothing about a smart termination labels, nothing about seasonal guide, Nothing about working in the back room. They never trained me on this. There is nothing in their records they can show. But yet they're going to terminate me in ability to perform job. And if I worked in the department as department manager for eight months, oh, I think a manager needs to be fired and never given the training and then say I can't do the job and you never trained me and you let me sit in position for eight months? Oh, how many more people? have been treated the same way. Again, this is the fourth week. Let me go back again. Week one, week two, week three, week four. I'm missing something. Wait a minute, what am I missing? Oh. friends over here. There we go, my little friends. Oh, wait, what they got down here? Let's see what they got. Oh, this is a recap of the last two pages of training. Here again. Oh my God, look at that. More initials that I supposed to initial and the system manager supposed to initial. But guess what? It never happened. And is this why Walmart refuses to answer me? Oh, this sheet here, what is quite, I told you. Let's see if Brother Ryan was lying. Let's go down to the bottom here. What does it say? Oh, there it is. It says that I acknowledge that I have completed each task as outlined in my detailed job specific training. Oh, plan. Signing this acknowledgement and not completing all tasks assigned in the training plan is what is falsification of a company record and may result in termination of employment mm. and then it says down here a social signature i asked walmart to show me where i signed on that line assistant manager's signature they refuse to sh show me anybody that was ever assigned as a training Lastly, completion date. <laughs> they can't. That's why they won't answer me. Because they know that they never trained me. And so the story goes. Jesus said, and ye shall know the truth, and that the truth will set and make you free. It's time, y'all, that we start holding people accountable. And now the Republicans are talking about doing away with the little workers' rights that we have. And if you know it or not, the state of Georgia is an at-will-to-work state. Thanks to our legislators, Georgia legislators, we are about one of about 14 or 15 other states called an at-will-to-work state. I didn't know nothing about it until I was 
wrongfully terminated. They can fire you for good cause, bad cause, or for no cause at all. And they don't even have to tell you why they terminated you. Here again, I close this tape out. This is tape four. This is the first week that I was denied this paperwork and this training as department manager at store 2615 in Valdosta, Georgia. This is week two that I was never given this required mandatory training for department managers and all department managers should be trained. This is week three. I did not receive not one sheet. God can't, God cannot prove that I signed off on any of this, nor did a trainer. And of course, this is week four. This is week four of training. This is the paperwork. Walmart, not me. And of course, number five, my little friends over here, they holding the last two sheets. And this is the fourth week of training. Then they verify and they back it up with the signature. And if I would fail to sign that signature, this is equivalent to the 623 in the military. But the only difference is the military train you. And then after training, if you cannot perform, then when a person is terminated, they understand why they were terminated. But if you are not trained, then... <laughs>
the line where he's in Judah asleep. I wonder who will wake him, bring him to his feet. Speak now or forever hold your peace. There's a line where he's in Judah asleep. I wonder who will wake him.